Coffee Break Swedish, Season 1, Lesson 11. Hej och välkomna till Coffee Break Swedish. Jag heter Mark. Och jag heter Hanna. Hur mår du, Hanna? Jag mår bra. Tack, Mark. Um, det var länge sedan. Uh, okay, we'll come back to that in, 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 in just a moment. We're delighted to be back. Uh, it's lesson 11 and we've had a little bit of a break, uh, basically because the world has changed in the, in the past few months and it's been a little difficult to get back into the studio. But we're delighted to be recording again at a distance. So Hannah's in her house and I'm in my house and we're recording it uh, at a distance it may sound a little bit different to previous lessons, but don't worry, we're still here. It's still me, it's still Hannah, and we're back with another lesson. Hannah, you said something, uh, a, a new phrase for me there, just just a, a moment ago. Det var länge sedan. Can you say that slowly? Det var länge sedan. So what does that mean? It was a long time ago. Right, okay, so it's kind of like a long time no see, It's been it's been a while or something like that. Yeah. Right, so let, let me see if I can say this. De var länge sen. Ja, de var länge sen. De var länge sen. Okay, we're all already learning a new phrase. Now, in this episode, we are going to be learning about ordering drinks and, crucially, ordering coffees. Because, let's face it, coffee is a, a major a major feature of any Swedish coffee break, isn't it? Absolutely. And I would say that it's really important, but it's quite simple as well. We're not, we're not Italians exactly. <laughs> okay, so we're going to be learning how to order coffees, order drinks, um, a very useful aspect for when we can get back to Sweden and enjoy having a fika rast. Shall we get started? Ja, låt oss börja. Uh, det gör vi. So, Hannah, how would we order coffees or drinks in, in a cafe? What's the situation in, in Sweden? Okay, so you would go and say, hey, and then you will order at the counter. So it's a quite um, simple exercise, this. Mm -hmm. So it, would, would we tend to order at a counter and then go and sit down? Or is this for a, a, a takeaway or a, a carry-out coffee? No, so you would normally order at the counter mm -hmm. and you would get your coffee there. And you also have um, the cakes and things there as well. So you can, if you're foreign and you are a little bit scared of speaking Swedish, uh -huh. you can also use the point system. The you point know, system, just yeah. pointing at things. <laughs> yeah, so we'll learn some words for that, I think, as well. But um, mm -hmm. I have to say, I think it's quite important that we learn some cake names as well, if that's okay with you. That's the most important thing when it comes to fika. <laughs> okay, so this is all about having a fika. Um, so we're going to go up to the, the, the counter and, uh, again, would it just be a simple greeting? Hey. Ja, so du, Mark, om du, um, if you are going into the cafe, you just say, hey. Mm -hmm. um, and I say, hey, vad vill du beställa? So what are you saying there in English? What would you like to order? Okay, right. So let's hear it again. Vad vill du beställa? So I'm guessing beställa is the verb to order. Ja, precis. Okay. So could I say, uh, jag vill beställa and then something that I want to order? Or can I just say the thing? That's perfect, Mark. It's so good if you say that whole sentence. However, I thought we would make it more simple. That sounds good. And just say what we like to order, and then we say thank you. Do you remember what thank you is in Swedish? Well, that would be tack. Precis. So, if we want to make it simple and we just order a coffee, we just say en kaffe tack. En kaffe tack. Perfect. Okay, so again, we're always leaving a little bit of space uh, for our listeners to repeat uh, after Hanna, uh, so that we're getting the perfect pronunciation. Let's hear a coffee, please, again. En café, tack. En café, tack. Okay, what about if I want a coffee with milk? En café med mjölk, tack. En kaffe med mjölk. Tack. Ja, bra. 
Okay, so let's hear the word for milk again. It's a little bit um, difficult. Mjölk. Mjölk. Is that a, an O with two dots sound? Yes, so it's M-J-E-L-K. Okay, me mjölk. And we've seen me before. It's spelled M-E-D, isn't it? Yes, exactly. Right, so en kaffe me mjölk. Tack. Perfect. Okay. Um, so is there, if, if you just order en kaffe, would you not get milk with it? Would it just be a black coffee? So we would normally have, um, we're very fond of filter coffee in Sweden, mm -hmm. in Sweden, and we really like filter coffee. So you would probably get a black coffee, a cup of black coffee, and then you would get milk on the side. So it might be um, next to the counter or something like that. Okay. And am I right in thinking, I think I've read somewhere that um, free refills are, are pretty much standard? A very important part of Swedish culture. So um, if I give you this cup of coffee, then I would say, Och på tår ingår. Oh, right. That sounds <laughs> a little complicated to say, say that again. Och på tår ingår. Och på tår ingår. What does that mean? So a re refill is included. All right, ingor. So gor is like go. Yeah, exactly. Right. So ok po tor, that's the refills part. Mm -hmm. Ingor. 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 I've got to watch my o. Oh, ingor. So sometimes you will even have the um, the coffee pot. Um, so you can do the refill yourself. Mm -hmm. And it probably have a sign saying Potor Ingor, or it can say Potor Fem Kronor. So you pay a little bit extra for a refill, but not as much as the first cup. Okay, so five kroner uh, for the, the refill there, um, or uh, Ingor, uh, it goes with it, or it, it comes free, or something like that. Yes. Good. Okay, that, so that's coffee. What about tea? Tea. Tea. And Swedish people are not that familiar to, with tea. It's not what we drink all the time. Mm -hmm. When I order coffee, I would just say, en kaffe tack. Mm -hmm. But I would probably say, en kopp tea tack. Ah, okay, so a cup of tea. Um, but yes. there's no word for of there. It's just en kopp te. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Right, so en kopp te, a cup of tea. Could we say en kopp kaffe? Yeah, absolute. Okay. So either way, we can see in cup. What other drinks uh, might we order in a in a cafe or a bar? Well, I guess if you don't like decaffeinated drinks and you are visiting Sweden when it's winter, you need hot chocolate, don't you? Ah, yeah, that's a very good a very good drink to have. Yes. So, what would that be? And it's also a good exercise to uh, use Swedish queer sound. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I know you all love it. So Absolutely. you have varm, which means warm. Mm -hmm. And then you say choklad. Okay. Uh, varm choklad. Jättebra, Mark. Could we say uh, en kopp varm choklad? Ja, en kopp varm choklad, tack. En kopp varm choklad, tack. Ja. And with hot chocolate, we normally wouldn't have it with milk, would we? We would have it with cream. Right. What's cream? Gredde. Oh. Let's hear that again. Gredde. Gredde. Bra. How do you spell that? So, G, R, and E, an A with two dots, mm -hmm. D, D, E. So if you remember, we always pronounce the E's on the end in Swedish. Yep. So gredde. Gredde. It almost sounds like there's a vowel between the G and the R. Gredde. Yeah. Okay. So uh, could I say then, uh, en kopp varm choklad me gredde. Tack. Ja. Right. So that would be a hot chocolate with cream. Um, anything else? What about cold drinks? Yeah, so if you don't like uh, warm drinks, then you have, um, I guess you have juice. Mm -hmm. But if you remember that we don't use the j sound. 
Yep. So we just pronounce it with a Swedish kind of accent. So we say use. Use. Okay. Y- use. Um, so what would, for example, orange juice be? Appelsin juice. Oh, that sounds more like apple. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> so say it again. Appelsin juice. Appelsin juice. So what would apple just be? Äppel juice. Right, okay. Äppel juice. Juice. Bra. Okay, so we've got appelsin juice and apple juice, yeah? Ja, bra. So what, there, there are different vowels in there. What, can you explain what's going on with those vowels? So appelsin is, is an easy one. No funny vowels at all is okay. an A and an I. Um, but in epple is a E, so it's an A with two dots. Yep. E, epple. Epple. So, uh, right, I think I maybe got that wrong earlier. I, uh, so, is it epple use? No, epple. So, it's a bit complicated in Swedish, I know. Um, but quite often we change. We twist things around if it doesn't sound as well when we say it. So uh, an apple is et epple. Mm-hmm. But when we talk about use, then because we add a word to it later, we can't have a vowel on the end. It doesn't make, it doesn't sound good. Okay. So we say apple use. So we change the E and the L. Apple use, but Et apple. Perfect. Bra. Right. And but with apple apple scene, it just is as is is an orange an apple scene? Yeah, is is from German, I guess. Um okay. and it's just very simple because German is very simple, as you know. Okay, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> okay, so um what other kind of juices might we have? What about um I don't know, let, let's stick with the apples and pineapple juice? Ananas use. Oh, that's that's good. Okay, I recognize ananas from other languages. So, ananas use. Yeah. Okay. And what about, are, are fizzy drinks, sort of sodas, pop, popular? Yes. And we have our, the Rome word for it. So, we say lesk. Lesk. So, that does that just mean soda, fizzy drink, some kind of fizzy drink, yeah? Yeah. If it's fizzy, then it's a lesk. And do you then, so for example, could I say uh, appelsin lesk? Yeah. That would be a fizzy orange juice. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. And so with all of these, I can simply say tack at the end, and that's a way of of ordering the drink. But earlier, um, there was a word that you taught us for order. What was that again? Bistella. Bistella. So could I say, for example... Ja vill bestella uh, is, is läsk ett or en. En. So all the drinks we have learned so far is en. Mm-hmm. And if you remember, most names are en. So the only word we have learned today that is ett. Do you remember which one that was? Oh, was it ett äpple? Ett äpple. Precis. Bra, Mark. Good. Okay, so. I, I was trying to form a sentence using the bestella word. Mm-hmm. Uh, ja vill bestella en uh, ananas juice. Tack. Perfect. And I would say a little bit quicker with ananas. Uh-huh. So, ja vill bestella en ananas juice. So, the stress is on ananas, yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay, so, ja vill bestella et En ananas use. Bra. Okay, tack. I forgot my tack. I've got to be polite. <laughs> okay, um, I think we do still need to learn a little more about the other kind of things that we could order in, in our cafe. Um, and that, of course, is going to mean lots of cakes. But before we get there, we're going to take a short break. All the Coffee Break Swedish podcast episodes are free, but did you know there's a full online course available? We offer video versions of the lessons where you see the words and phrases on the screen of your device. 
There are lesson notes providing further information and additional vocabulary and a bonus audio episode for every lesson. To find out more about our online course, go to coffeebreakswedish.com. Okay, we are ordering drinks in a cafe today, which is a very important element to learn in coffee break. Um, But we also need to learn some other words. And I think in particular, we need to learn how to order some some food to go along with our coffee. Hanna, what do you say? Yeah, that's the most important thing I would say in Swedish culture. Um, So you have just ordered your coffee. Mm -hmm. And the person behind the counter will probably ask you, Var det bra så? Let's hear that again. Var det bra så? Um, I'm hearing bra in there, so something about good. Yes, yeah, so um, is that good? Which means like, um, do you want anything else? Ah, so is is that all that you, you want or something like that? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so what, what does it literally mean? Was that good? Then? It, it, okay. it really sounds weird yeah. when you do a... <laughs> Direct translation. I, I just like knowing what the individual words yeah. mean. Uh, I'm sure our, our learners, some of our learners will want to know the, the details of this too. So, var de bra so? Var de bra so? So, was that, was that all? Will that be all? I, I think actually that's funny because in English, we may even put that into the future. Will that be all? Yeah, exactly. Which doesn't make sense in Swedish at all. Okay. <laughs> so, um, if it is everything that you want, you would just say, yeah, tuck, and we can go on and pay for it. But... Um, if it's not, and if you're tempted by the, the goodies that are on offer, what would you say? Nej, jag vill ha en kanelbulle också. I recognise the kanelbulle. I um, thought that was the... Cinnamon bun there, yeah. <laughs> so let's hear it again. Nej, jag vill ha en kanelbulle också. Nej, jag vill ha en kanelbulle också. So there you're saying, ja vil ha. Why do you not need to say, ja vil bestella? So we can use different phrases. Mm -hmm. So I would say, uh, ja vil ha is I want. Uh, You can also say, ne ja vil bestella in kanelbulle också. Okay, so is it just like the difference between I'll have a, a, a cinnamon bun or I'll order uh, yes. Bun. Is it that kind of idea? Mm-hmm. Okay. And you could say, nej, en kanelbulle också. Ah, okay, yes. Yeah. So we don't even need the, the jag vill ha. Um, okay, so nej, jag vill ha en kanelbulle också. Or nej, jag vill beställa en kanelbulle. Or just nej, en kanelbulle också. Yeah? Ja, perfekt. Bra. Okay, so kanelbulle is um, our cinnamon bun. Um, anything else that we might uh, order? I know we're going to talk about some some more cakes and things in our bonus episode, but any other particularly common ones that you might see in a in a coffee shop? Well, I like you to practice your queer sounds, don't I? You do, so, yeah, yeah. And <laughs> but also, it's one of the most famous um, um, Swedish um, cakes, which mm-hmm. is a choklad boll. Choklad. Ball. So is it some kind of chocolate ball? Yeah, perfect. Your Swedish is so good. <laughs> uh, maybe it's my knowledge of cakes. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just, um, it's a ball with um, chocolate and oats and often you have some um, coconut around it. Yep. Okay, I'm trying to think what we call these in English. Um, it's, it's a little bit like truffles. I truffles, think. that's the word yeah. I was looking for, yeah. Choklad ball, yeah? Perfect. Okay. Right, so we've we've ordered our coffee, we've ordered a, a choklad ball or a canelbulla. Um what about the paying side of things? So the person behind the counter will say Det blir 67 kronor. Right. Uh let's hear that again. Det blir 67 kronor. Have we heard the word blir before? Because it sounds familiar. Yes, it means um, it it becomes. It becomes, okay. Mm. 
So it's like just saying that is, and I think, did you say 67 kroner? Yeah, I, I know how much you like the uh, the number seven. So I thought, <laughs> let's just put that in, see okay. what people say. I don't know that we've done bigger numbers like that yet. I think we've counted up to 10 so far, but we've definitely not done the bigger numbers so far. But I kind of guessed that that would be 67. Let's see that again. Yeah, 67. 67. Okay, so we'll, we'll we'll do those numbers at some point. But uh, coming back to this, that that is, so that becomes, did you say? Yes, det blir. Blir. Det blir 67 kronor. So it's 67 kronor. Okay, and would would I be likely to pay, well, I guess in, uh, we're, we're using less and less cash at the moment. But yes, what's the situation Sweden in Sweden? Yes, and Sweden is... is- I was going to say the worst, but if you like to to not use cash, you will love Sweden. So okay. most places they don't even accept cash nowadays. Okay. Um, but um, the person behind the counter would probably say, "Betalar du med kort eller kontanter?" Right. So I'm guessing "kort" is card, and uh, what was the other word? Kontanter. So that's cash, yeah. Yes. Right. So. Um, let's hear the whole sentence. Betalar du med kort eller kontanter? Is that like saying, are you paying by card or by cash? Yeah. What's the verb to pay? At betala. At betala. Mm-hmm. So you remember that infinitive, we often have an A on the end mm-hmm. when it comes to verbs. But we say here, we say, betalar du med kort eller kontanter? Because we talk about the present tense. Okay, so there, there's an R on the end there. Betalar du med kort eller kontanter? Kontanter. Ja, kontanter. Kontanter, okay. So could I then say, um, jag betalar med kort? Bra, but it's a more O sound, kort. Kort, kort. Ja, bra. Because... We have several O sounds in Swedish. So when you say kort, it sounds like you're talking about somebody being short rather than a card. Oh, right. Okay. So what, what letter would that be? It's, it's, it's spelled the same way, okay. but we pronounce it a little bit different. I, I understand you have missed Swedish, uh, Mark. Oh, dear. This is, yeah, this is complicated. So um, the, how, how is the word for card spelled? K-O-R-T. And how is the word for short spelled? K-O-R-T. Right, I thought this was where we were going to go. So they both are spelled exactly the same, but they're pronounced differently. Let's hear the word for card, for, for card again. Kort. Kort. And the word for short? Kort. Kort. Right. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just leave it there. Um, anything else that we need to know in, in this whole idea? Um, would you like a receipt? Oh yeah, that's yes, useful. So how would we say that? Vill du ha kvitto? Kvitto, kvitto. Mm-hmm. Right. Vill du ha kvitto? Vill du ha kvitto? Okay. Um, and I can just say yes, I guess. Yeah. Ja, tack. And you hand it over and you would say varsågod. Precis, so it's going to be a lot of tack och varsågod. Yeah. Good. And you already know that. And and that, I guess, is, is what any kind of transactional situation is going to involve. So it's, it's really useful to have these, these words ready in our vocabulary, in our repertoire to use. Hanna, can I suggest that we do a little conversation using some of, of this language so that we can practice this whole idea of going to order your coffee or your tea or, or your... Uh, it's not ah. lesk, lesk, lesk. Lesk, yeah. Lesk. <laughs> Absolute. So, should I be the person behind the counter? Uh, yep, yeah, okay. And okay. I'll be the, the customer. Okay, yeah. so I'm coming into the, the, the coffee shop and I will begin by saying, Hey! Hey, vad vill du beställa? En kaffe, tack. Varsågod. Mjölken står där och påtår ingår. Uh, var det bra så? Uh, nej, jag vill ha en kanelbulla också. Varsågod. Då blir det 67 kronor. Betalar du med kort eller kontanter? 
Jag betalar med kort. Med kort, med kort. <laughs> Varsågod. Vill du ha kvitto? Ja, tack. Varsågod. Okay, I think we should do that again because I mispronounced the word for card. I was talking about someone short or something like that. So let's do the whole conversation again. I'll try to be a little more confident and fluent this time. Here goes. Hey. Hey, vad vill du beställa? En kaffe, tack. Varsågod. Mjölken står där och påtår ingår. Um, var det bra så? Nej, jag vill ha en kanelbulle också. Varsågod, då blir det 67 kronor. Betalar du med kort eller kontanter? Jag betalar med kort. Varsågod, vill du ha kvitto? Ja, tack. Varsågod. Hej då. Hej då. Okay. All right. There, there was something in there that was a little bit different from what we learned, and I think it was when you were uh, giving me the price. Mm -hmm. um, I think you said things in a different order. Could you see that sentence again? Eh, så jag sa varsågod och så säger jag då blir det 67 kronor. Right. So you had taught me det blir 67 kronor. I'm glad that the, the price is the same. That's, that's helpful there. Mm -hmm. um, but what, what did you see? It changed around. It became blir det. Yeah, and this is the annoying part of Swedish. Um, but I promise, Mark, the only annoying part with Swedish. <laughs> so, um, då blir det, it means then it becomes. And right. if you have something like that before, like a time and a place, like then, mm -hmm. uh, then um, the verb and the subject need to change place. So Right. That's it's like, it I think we learned, for example, um, uh, idag... Um, Lär vi oss and, and something. So we started with today, learn we. So is this the Precis. same kind of idea? Exactly. It's the same. Right. So you said, då blir det 67 kronor, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Um, can we just go back also to the, you, you talked about the, the mjölk in some way and you said, I, I got the bit about the potar, uh, potar ingor. Mm -hmm. That was the, the refills are included. Um, but what did you say about the mjölk? Mjölken står där. Ah, does that mean it's standing there? Yes, so imagine we are in this cafe actually, mm -hmm. so I, you can actually see me and I can point at things. Yep. So I will say mjölken står där. Good, okay. Just while we're on this and just to kind of cover the situation where um, you don't know the name of the cake that looks delicious that's sitting on the counter, um, how would I say I would like that? It's a very useful phrase, isn't it? Yeah. So, den där, tack. Right, so we just see that one there. Yes. Den där, den där, yeah? Mm -hmm. Den där, tack. Den där. Den där. Okay, I'm not getting my vowel quite right there. Den där. <laughs> Okay, I, all this talk of, of cakes and things is making me a little hungry. I think we'll stop there for today. Now, if you would like to take your learning of Swedish further, then don't forget you can access the full version of this course, which includes video versions of the lessons, and you'll see the words on the screen and maybe even some pictures of lovely cakes on the screen, um, as well as the lesson notes and the bonus audio. And we're just about to record the bonus audio for this lesson, which is going to include some more useful vocabulary for ordering cakes and the like uh, in, in a Swedish coffee shop. You can find out all about that at coffeebreakacademy.com. You can also find us on Facebook. Uh, just search for Coffee Break Swedish and we post regular content to help you build your cultural knowledge of all things Swedish. Perfect. We'll be back next time with another Swedish lesson. We'll be looking at taking our ordering of food and drink a little bit further. But until then, tack så mycket och hej då! Hej då! You have been listening to a production of the Coffee Break Academy for the Radiolingua Network. Copyright 2020, Radiolingua Limited. Recording copyright 2020, Radiolingua Limited. All rights reserved.